Good morning. I am a Sussex County Master Gardener with the University of Delaware Cooperative Extension. And this is a workshop on how to make a scare baby. Um, instead of a scarecrow, we're using miniature clothes. This is about a two-year-old shirt, or shirt for a two-year-old. We have a pair of long pants. We have a pumpkin for his head and a hat, a pair of gloves. These are just, this is a tomato steak actually. And my husband cut me a nice piece of wood with a point on it so it can go down in the ground. We have some twine and you can use twine or rope to tie them in a cross or I'm going to use masking tape, scissors to cut the tape, uh, this knife I used to enlarge the hole in the bottom of the pumpkin, and for suspenders I'm using some ribbon I had at home. And this is going to tie up the arms and legs so the straw doesn't fall out. We have a partial bale of straw over here. So let's get to work. You ready, Daisy? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take the shirt and put the cross piece in. Can you hold the sleeve up for me? This sleeve right there. there Stick that through one side. There we go. And we got to put the other sleeve on. Okay. All right, now we've got to tie the sleeves. Okay. Okay, here's a piece of string. That's good. Great. All right. Do the other side. Another piece of string. I already cut the size. That's good. All right. All right, so we have his arms, and now we need to put this through. Can you hold that for me? And we'll cut a piece of tape so I can find the end. Move it up just a little bit. Yeah. Whoops. I guess we'll just do it right here. May need another piece going this way. This is going to be inside the shirt, so nobody's even going to see it. All right, give it a wiggle test. Oh, that's good. Okay. Now we need to button the shirt. Oh, I forgot we got to stuff it with straw, so I better leave his neck open. And we're going to need a piece of string for his waist so the straw doesn't fall out the bottom, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know that that's long enough. We'll get a piece. All right, can you hold it up? We're ready to stop. Now I've already stuffed one leg and I tied it, but we've got to get the pole inside this leg down here and I put suspenders on, that's going to help hold the pants up. And you want enough sticking out down here that you can hammer it down into the ground. Or you could put shoes if you had some, but I didn't buy any of those. Okay, you're ready to, you just got to tie this leg. I'll just go ahead and tie it for you. And you can get some straw and we'll start stuffing. There you go, way down in there, that's right. Good thing you've got long arms. You can do this too with a um, footed pajama sleepers. And then you don't have so much tying. Oh, we need a lot more than that. Let's stop. I find the end. <laughs> now we need a string for his waist. So I didn't bring a belt. We'll put it through these loops. Can you hold him up? one in his saggy pants. <laughs> All right, now, the suspenders, we're gonna cross them over in the back. Let me turn them around and show you. And that's gonna help hold his pants up. Can you hold this one right here so I don't lose it? I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. There, we have a headless scare baby. <laughs> All right, we have a hole in the bottom, and we're going to jam the head on. 
There it goes. And just so he's uh, ready for the world, we're going to put a mask on him. How's that? <laughs> and now he needs a hat. Now the finishing touch is a hat. What shall we name him? Maybe Dick and maybe George. George, that's a good name. Now, you'd have to take the head off to hammer him into the ground. But what we're, whoops, there goes his hat. What we're going to do is stick him right in this straw. There we go. Put your hat back on. And that's our Scare Baby Workshop. I hope you'll enjoy making one of these for your yard. Can you take a bow?